What's up friends, tonight we are working on a Toro Power Max 1028 OXC. This is about the biggest one you're going to find in a residential garage anyway. Uh, Eric and I got it for 40 bucks. You'll be noticing currently missing something right in that area. It's over there. Let's go find out why. Now this blower uh, had the Briggs & Stratton uh, 14 and a half horse. This is a uh, pretty big motor for a snar blower, uh, but it's got a problem. Here is the problem. Good buddy, you must be having a party in there because I hear a whole lot of confetti. <clears throat> One more time. So, you will obviously notice, uh, first of all, no compression at all. And uh, definitely something's banging and clanging around down in there. This is an overhead valve model. Uh, and it looks like, here's, here's the, let me give you a little background story on this. The customer, it's not really a customer, the guy we bought it from, took it to a small engine shop and they told him, nah, it's blown up. So as I'm crawling over this thing, various things have already been taken off. This valve cover's loose, so I'm guessing they were in there. Uh, it's missing both of the uh, oil sights down in here. Um, let's see, anything else? I took the pulley off. Anyway, long and the short of it is, we're going to tear into her tonight and figure out if it's a valve train, which I suspect it is not, or if it's a connecting rod, which I suspect it is. Um, so let's get our grip mat going. Uh, we'll slowly start collecting all our parts over there. Here's the last spacer for that. I guess the first thing we'll do, since somebody was clearly already in here, is we will peep into uh, this valve cover. Something's missing from this because there's a stud right. Oh, <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> that's this thing I took off, isn't it? I don't remember. Yeah, that's that. All right, moment of truth. This was definitely off before. I can tell because of how loose it is. There's a PCV hose coming in, which is precluding me from. There we go. Um, moment of truth. Let me put you guys someplace a little better. So... All right. Oh, there you have it. That, that looks absolutely fine. Push rods look fine. I'm sure valve lash maybe needs to be adjusted. Okay, that's what we thought. Let's put the valve cover back on so that that's resealed. This even looks like a... No, maybe not. Doesn't matter. Um, let's get the valve cover put back on, get that sump cover off, and see what we're really up against. I'm just going to pop this sump cover off and get into the good bits there. It's pretty darn low on oil. I mean, I just don't see any in there. There's, I mean, that's barely any, so hopefully it's not too big a mess. It is what it is. Let's put these someplace special. I wonder if they're all the same size. Boy, I hope they are. Nope, looks like that one's going to be longer. Oh, pain in the butt. <clears throat> My goodness. So what happens is you use a steel bolt and an aluminum block. Do the dissimilar metals dance. Oh, come on. That is a whole bunch of orange Loctite. Okay, no big deal. We'll keep these in order, and if we have different sizes, then maybe we'll do some of those cardboard box things. My goodness. A racket. No, it looks like they're all going to be the same size. Thank goodness the kid isn't asleep yet, because she'd be awake. Oh, that one had actual Loctite on it, I think. Is that a remnant of red Loctite? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I guess these would have Loctite on them. But why only one of them, like... This one, that's very clearly some red Loctite. There's none on those. I have questions, folks, is what I'm getting at. No Loctite. Maybe that wasn't Loctite. Maybe that was just rust. All right, all the same size, which is nice. I can just throw them all over here. We'll clean those up before they eventually go back on. Uh, looks like there's a 5 16 right here to get that out. 
I mean, in 2020, when else are you going to get to use a 516 socket if not working on snar blowers? I want to take apart as little of this as I have to because if I can just slam a connecting rod in, it probably needs a piston. Obviously, it's going to need a bearing, but I don't want to be messing with all this. I wonder how long it sat. I wonder if it's going to need a carb job or not. All right, let's see if we can pry. Maybe right here looks promising. You know what? <clears throat> let's put two bolts back in so as we don't send her flying if we do get her to break loose. Put one there. I'll put one right there. Uh, let me see. Do I see any place where they tell me to pry? No, because they don't want me in here doing this at all. Let's try this. That feels promising. Oh, goodness. Oh, there we go. And so far, so good on the oil spillage. Looks like just a couple drops. You gotta wonder if lack of oil has to do with the reason why she's here right now. That's that sorted. Um, oh, we have clues right there. Uh, that's a chunk. Here, we'll, we'll start a chunk pile. There's a chunk. There's a smaller chunk. There's a bitty chunk. The rest of this looks like it's intact though. This is your uh, oil slinger, right? Oh no, that's your governor. What am I talking about? Um, I have the oil slinger be all the way up there. Come on, amateur. I tell you. Here's some chunks. Some gnarly little chunks. Let's see. Here you go. There's your oil slanger on the end of your uh, connecting rod there. Here you go. More connecting rod. Now, it's very difficult to diagnose something like this after the fact, but. It looks like it was starved for oil. Now, I don't know how well you can see, but there's some significant scoring on the inside. It looks like the bearing wore through, and then it was just banging around in there. So, uh, I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on TV. But <clears throat> if I had to guess, that would be my guess. Just looking at that chunk of connecting rod all right let's talk good news bad news um these gears right here they look absolutely fine uh the scrape the scraping you hear is the flywheel on the other side there's rust built up okay the counterweight looks fine it does have a dinger in it but i don't think long term that would be a big issue the actual journal looks not good at all there's no i don't think we're gonna be able to save that one can you see all the scoring right there? So this thing was starved for oil. It ate through its bearing. It ate through its connecting rod. And at a certain point, there was so much clearance. It was binging and banging back and forth on there that she gave up the ghost and she exploded. Uh, piston's still up there. You can, I don't know whether or not you can see this. is terrible cameraman's ship. Oh, let's see if there's any mechanical damage on the plug that would imply the piston came apart too. I doubt it. It seems like it was a connecting rod issue. Guy didn't have oil in it. I know I've said this 30 times, but I keep working it over in my head. The fact that it totally ate through the bearing says, well, what we already said. Come on. This Briggs is fighting me. Don't get me wrong, it's not like I dislike Briggs. I grew up on Briggs. For snowblowers, I just love those Tecumsehs. All right, well, plug is normal-ish, little, little sooty, may have been, uh, may have been running a little lean. Uh, yeah, I think now we can pretty much get to all the head bolts. There's one, and, uh, I mean, these, I'll just bend this little shield, because it has about 37 places where it's held on. I think whatever this is has to go. So here we go. Oh. Before we pull the head off, let's straighten a few things up. Let's get our chunk shelf out of the way. Can move you people. Put a few tools away. There we go. 
time for the moment of truth. So far so good. Still good. What the fork? All right, probably should have taken the carb off. Thinking about that now. I'll screw this. I'm gonna have to take that carb off. Put a head bolt back in. just to hold it so I can stop mangling it. Alrighty. There we go. Well, guy did not want to come off. Uh, yeah, we can leave him all hooked up to the linkage right there. We'll deal, we'll probably pop this bulb off at the bottom, but one problem at a time. Right now, it doesn't even have an operational cylinder. Pull this out. And it's good news. Uh, some of these, I know like, yeah, no, never mind. Some small engines have an aluminum intake shaft and a steel, uh, what am I trying to say? Amateur hour. Some small engines have an aluminum intake push rod and a steel exhaust push rod. So when you're taking them apart, you wanna be sure of that. This is not one of them. Regular aluminum ones all around. So you can take a look at the head, no chowder there. Uh, and it doesn't look like the head gasket was blown. Not that that would matter all that much, but good to know. Not what you'd call a lot of room in here. Some guy to be Jimmy jamming his hand all over the map. But there we go. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. And there we are. And unfortunately, we're going to need a new piston because the skirt is cracked. And that will likely not survive. What a shame. Just barely, too. Look, the wrist pin's even good. But that cracked skirt, you can't do that. Oh, what a shame. Uh, doesn't look like the bore is in any way affected. Uh, that obviously, probably the, the most important thing. Uh, yeah, you don't have to like it, but I'm reusing that wrist pin. Um, probably all these rings, though I'll bet you... No, I've seen just the piston. No rings, no wrist pin. Cool, man. What a bummer. I'll bet you a piece of the connecting rod came up and bit it. Arr. All right, I'm going to put a bunch of this back together. And then I'm not going to be able to touch this. I just remembered, actually, while I was reframing the shot. So it's the Friday before Christmas. I'm not going to get, you know, parts. And then there's New Year's. Not, parts aren't going to come in for like two weeks. And then there's, I don't have a free, I don't have any free time. I have to do a little bit of travel. I'm not, it's going to be a month before I get back to this. You're going to, you're going to see this video sometime in the future. Uh, know that this filming began a little bit before Christmas. It'll probably be March when you get to see it. I'm going to go order some parts, put all this back together, and uh, hope I don't lose this footage in the next month.